Okay, now I'm going to cut fluke for sashimi. First thing I'm going to do is to take out this part called engawa. You can just do so, like just pulling this meat right here. Or if it's a little bit tough, I'm just gonna cut like through like so. Then for engawa, oh no, for the fluke. Uh, I'm gonna slice it. I'm gonna uh, tilt my knife like this, almost flat against the uh, fish. I'm gonna let my knife slide and again pull forward like so to make it really thin cut and plate it like so. Pull. Pull, make it thin, because the fluke tastes really nice when it's thin. So the meat's really tender, so when you pull, use less force as much as possible. You want to have a nice, clean, straight cut, because if you press too much with your knife, you're going to break the meat, affecting the taste and the looks of the sashimi. Just gonna plate it a little bit differently. Just fold it like so and put it like so. Again, keeping the same thickness. So, so important. You just you cut your fish with one stroke instead of two or three 